Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I will tell you the top 10 ways you can get gold easily. If you do enjoy this video, please subscribe and drop a comment down below. I really do appreciate it. Alrighty, let's get into it. Number 1. World Bosses Cold-blooded heretic and Adelic are your friends when it comes to easy gold. You don't even need a chest that drops actual loot. Even if you don't do the most damage, you can get a worn chest or two each containing 50 to 100 gold, which is doubled with the blessed gold talisman. Number 2. Scarlet Harbour I know this may seem fairly obvious, being an endgame dungeon and all that, but this is applicable to anyone willing to put in time to farm. Of course the bosses drop a ton of gold, but also each individual mob drops 12 to 20 gold, meaning at least 40 gold with the blessed talisman. Even if you can't solo or find these mobs rather hard to kill, gathering a party together to farm and you will all end up with loads of gold. Number 3. Sneaky Market Dealings This method involves you having a sharp eye and good knowledge of your service economy. If you see something unusually cheap, buy it and resell for a much higher price. This is an excellent way to quickly rack up thousands of gold in a very short time with minimal effort. You can also be smart and sell items that have a lot of demand at a higher price during certain events. For example, sell adamantine ingots during a crafting event. I promise they will sell speedily. Number 4. Familiars You can sell sealed familiars often for a hefty profit since synthesis is now a feature in Icarus. You can get their marks fairly easily either from the market or familiar adventures. If you make a familiar max level, then seal it. If it is heroic or legendary, you will be able to sell it for a decent quantity of gold. And if it is an ancient familiar, it will sell for even more. Also, always put up elite familiars too. Often other riders need them for talent points. Number 5. Sage Cross. Who in their right mind honestly likes farming the stuff? You guessed it. No one. However, you only need to spend 20 minutes or so gathering 100 sage grass and you can easily sell this for 15 to 25 gold per grass, depending on your server's price. I find Jack the Hunter's Cave the best place for this. Number 6. Fishing Tinctures Our current event is a fishing one at the moment, so this is kind of a no-brainer. Sell your tinctures! Max HP and cooldown ones go for a maximum 1 gold per tincture, but magical, physical and defence tinctures can be sold for prices of up to 100 gold. Of course, perhaps wait till there isn't a fishing event to put these on the market, but they are a very pre precious necessity that many people are willing to pay good money for. Number 7. Know your dungeons. The most obvious way to earn gold is clearly by farming dungeons, and so I have compiled a list of the top 5 dungeons for this. Number 1. Tomb of the Worm. You can drop over 1.5k gold per legendary 5 run you do, as well as being able to sell many of the items you drop for an excellent profit. Even if you only do legendary 1, it's still very much worth it. Killing all the mobs in Elite 5 also gives you a lot of gold in total. Number 2. Frostkeep. You can easily drop 600 to 1000 gold with at least a gold talisman at Legendary 5. Again, you can do it at a lower level and it will still be worth a decent quantity of gold. Number 3. Reach. Yeah, I know no one likes this place. Still though, it also drops about 500 to 900 gold at least on Legendary 5, including the gatekeepers. It's even just 200 gold if you don't end up killing Jumama. Number 4. Forgotten Shrine Doing this at Heroic 5, whilst killing all the mobs, will end up with you being 400 to 600 gold richer at least. Don't forget it. Number 5. The Marumi Instance in Akrat Go in a drop rate party and clean it out. Sell everything you get there, then go back in again as many times as you want. Number 8. Crafting Be it Alsatian, Temujin, or even Zelnaris or Fenris, crafting is a surefire way to rake in gold. Alsatian jewellery can easily be crafted from Exalted cheaply and sell for about 100 gold plus or minus, depending on your server's prices. Temujin arcane items can be told for astronomical prices if you can get one to the marketplace. Everyone needs them for transcending. 
you can craft Temujin armor for about 2.5k gold apiece, so if you can sell it for at least 3k then you'll be making a tidy profit. Oh, and let's not forget Zelnaris crafting. This is where I got most of my seals, let alone my gold. It might be a bit expensive for more early game players, but for those of us with a few loose McVein coins it is so easy to do. And if you can land that lucky 4 times start, well, that is almost a surefire golden Torquay if you can find a buyer. Number 9. Event Farming Watch the latest events. Is there a particular item that everyone seems to want? Try selling it, you will get a good profit. If you put in the extra hours of farming, you can easily make a very decent quantity of gold. Number 10. Pay to win. Yes, I know. I personally don't like this option, being 100% free to play myself, but I can't deny that buying items like the Hakane's packs are a surefire way of getting at least 200,000 gold. Obviously, server dependent, so check your prices. Very low effort and easy to do but certainly an option for some of you high earners out there. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching. If you think there's anything I can do to improve, please let me know down in the comments section below and I'll see you in the next one.